Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Too Danny, Too Furious. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am, and that's because we're gonna go on the subreddit again. Yep, it's a subreddit video. It's been a week or two since the last time I was on the subreddit. Let's see how creative and fun and interesting the, the old site is today. So I'm gonna go top. And I'm gonna go month and let's uh, let's see what we got Danny messaged me on Instagram This has 2.3 thousand upvotes and it is someone pretending to be me. That's so cool Danny Gonzalez Lots of Z's there. This is sleepy Danny Gonzalez. Danny Gonzalez with a bunch of Z's. He's snoring But he does sound just like me. Hello, sweetheart. I'm in need of a sugar babe pen pal companion That's so many things sugar babe pen pal and companion I want to pay you and I want you to write to me and I want this to be like a mutually beneficial relationship where we're both getting companionship out of this. Sounds like you just want a long distance relationship and I guess you're going to pay them as well. I'll provide your financial needs as long as we last. Let's get to know ourselves better. Okay. I like that there's not a question mark at the end of that. It's like a statement. Let's get to know ourselves better. Okay. 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 I'm good. Um, that's weird. So I, yeah, I, I sent you this message and I noticed you didn't, um, accept it yet. Do you not want your financial needs? Met? Because I think I made myself pretty clear in the DM. I'm gonna meet your financial needs and let's get to know ourselves better, okay? It's not let's get to know each other better either. It's let's get to know ourselves. Like, Sleepy Danny still has a lot to learn about himself as well. And he needs, whoever he sent this message to, he needs their help to figure it out. Oh, there's text on this. He's so considerate to reach out to his fans to get to know us. He's not just trying to get to know you, he's trying to get to know himself as well. In all seriousness, it's hilarious to see the way scammers try to scam people. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see, like, where this was gonna gonna go how he was gonna try to scam you but I think it's just actually a better idea for everyone to just ignore these types of accounts don't try to figure it out I do not endorse anyone trying to figure out how this person is gonna try to scam you lest you get scammed Lest you. I don't think I've ever said lest before. That is a thing. What does that even mean? Lest you get scammed. Define lest. It's a conjunction. Oh, it's it's formal. Extremely formal. Lest. 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 Lest you get scammed. With the intention of preventing. To avoid the risk of. Yeah. Do not message these accounts. Lest you get scammed. Oh, looks like I picked the perfect time to start using the word, though. Its usage is at pretty much an all-time low. Man, I swear to God, dude, I was born in the wrong generation. I should have been around in the early 1800s. Lest me looking like a fool. This is Danny if his YouTube career didn't work out. He turned into a porn bot, and then somebody said, when wasn't he? kind of fucked up. Why did I read this in his voice though? I read it in my voice too, funny enough. I read it out loud in my own voice. So to be clear, do not message any of these back. Please. I don't want to be responsible for people getting scammed. Okay, the next most popular post in here is removing one of Danny's facial features every day. And it looks like all of the subsequent most liked things for a while are them removing facial features on my body. Okay, well, this is taking up a lot of room on the subreddit. Oh, and then someone made Canadian Danny. It's a lot like Curtis. Well, I'm definitely not going to review each individual one of these pictures as I slowly lose all of my facial features. But this, on the other hand, is very interesting. Found this on a trash can while on vacation and it's a sticker of me spanking myself. There's a lot I would like to know about this. First off, where were you on vacation that this is on a trash can? Where did the person who did this get this sticker? I've never sold stickers like this before. Did someone make this just to put it on like a Caribbean trash can? You should sell these as merch. Trash cans with stickers on them? I don't know. It's just kind of gross. Making that trash can look much hotter and stinkier. One time I passed a test so my teacher gave me this sticker to congratulate congratulate me. Huh? I bought a meme sticker pack from Amazon for my students and there were a bunch of Danny stickers in it. What the fuck? Is someone selling my likeness without me knowing? Okay, Redbubble, I, I knew about this site. They just steal people's shit and uh, sell it. Danny Gonzalez merch.com. That is, that's not my merch website. What the hell is this? Dude, is there like a, a counterfeit Danny Gonzalez merch industrial complex? What is going on? Why are there so many companies that sell fake merch? There's Carol what the fuck stickers? Okay, now I gotta go to Amazon. Danny Gonzalez stickers. Sticker. Actually, let me just search Danny Gonzalez. Oh, this is fucked up. There's t-shirts. I'm Greg doing Greg things. 600 piece cool random stickers. 156 funny meme vinyl stickers. Am I in one of these? Uh, searching, searching, searching for Danny. Okay, I don't think I'm in this. I guess this is the type of thing that they were talking about. Thought that was me for a sec, but that's Squidward. Damn, dude, that's crazy. I didn't know that there was a whole industry around stealing my shit, only for it to end up in a compromising situation like this, covered in garbage dust or whatever that is. This is 
Honestly, I would like to lest this. I would like to avoid this. Dude, this is so weird to conceptualize. There's probably like other places where there's just like pictures of me. And I don't even know. Greg died today. Spam rip Greg in the chat. Oh no! Oh, it's a cute little mouse. I'm sorry your mouse died. Or is that a rat? Okay, it looks like it's a rat. It's cute either way. I'm sure you gave this little Greg a great life. They look happy here. I mean, he's chilling out here. That's about the chillest rat I've ever seen. Usually you see rats in popular culture and they're like scurrying. They're never still, that's for sure. They're always scurrying around and up to no good. So the fact that this rat is calm and collected in this image, I bet you gave him a great life. Rest in peace, Greg. We'll see you on the other side, buddy. What is this? Danny Gonzalez fake call? It's an app? This app is a simple app, enables the user to make a fake call that looks so real. Okay, so it looks like you can pretend to talk with me and accept video calls. Dude, what the hell? Okay, this looks like the Android app store and I don't have an Android phone. Let me just see if it's on iPhones real quick. I would like to talk to this guy. Danny Gonzalez. No results. Wah, wah. Rated for three and up. You wanna talk to Danny, you're gonna have to be three years old. I'm gonna tell that to my kids someday. When I have kids, I'm gonna be like, uh, 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 not till you're three. Not unless you're three, bud. I'm like 90% sure that this app developer made this app to bait Danny into playing slash reviewing it on his channel, which may increase sales possibly. Sales? Looks like it's free, dog. I checked the developer and apparently they've made many such similar apps with different famous people, but I don't know. Maybe you, may, maybe you, maybe, maybe you were right. I read that, right? Yeah, I kind of assumed that this was like a reference to the videos I've made about like the fake granny call game and someone just thought it would be funny to make it. But if they just do this for other like YouTubers, and stuff, then they might not even really have like a concrete grasp of who I am. And they just like threw this together. Shit, now I gotta like find an Android phone to play this. I wanna talk to Danny Gonzalez. I wanna make a fake call that looks so real. So this is also sort of going in the category of like weird counterfeit paraphernalia and fake conversations with Danny Gonzalez. There's like a theme in this episode. It's like counterfeit me. You know, you've made it when you're in a game theory video. I think I've actually been in a few. Oh, I thought this was gonna be a video. It's just a picture. Okay, so it looks like it's a video about the recent Merge Mansion ads. Oh, and there I am. All right, let's see what they say about me. And so, as you'd expect, the internet was going nuts. Danny Gonzalez literally dropped everything to make a reaction video to this. Even Danny Gonzalez was talking about this. A guy notorious for not talking about anything ever. I actually really like the theorist channels. I don't really watch game theory because I'm not that into video games, but I've been watching a lot of food theory lately. I think I've seen myself mentioned in their videos before. So I don't know if someone there like watches my videos or if they're like just like obsessed with me or, but pretty flattering. Loki. Pedro Pascal is in a Merge Mansion ad. But to me, those ads just seem to once again confirm everything that I talked about in my past theories. Okay, all right, easy, man. I didn't see all the other ads. What do you mean it just confirmed everything you knew? Those ads just seem to once again confirm everything that I talked about in my past theories. Pedro Pascal being in the ads confirmed everything you knew? Do you have old videos about Merge Mansion being like, all of these clues lead me to the conclusion that Pedro Pascal is gonna be the detective. But hey, that's just <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's probably what his last video was like. Well, you know what? Sorry I uh, was not up to date on the lore, I guess, but that's cool. That's cool I'm in this video. Every time Danny has said squishy bones. As my bones are getting squishy. As my bones are getting squishy. And, get, and gives him the squishy bones, for God's sake. Fuck, his bones are getting squishy, I think. Maybe her bones are getting squishy. Maybe her bones are squishy. She's humiliated. Bones squishy, honestly. That's like one of my favorite running jokes that's just, just for no reason. You know, I was gonna say, this is every time I've said squishy bones in videos. This isn't every time I've said the phrase squishy bones, but I actually don't think I've ever said that phrase outside of filming a video. So this might be every time I've ever said it, except for the few times I said it just now. I want squishy bones merch. Same, but without the merch. The fuck? I like this joke because it's like so subtle that if you didn't know it was like a weird recurring thing, you wouldn't pick up on it. But then the more videos you watch, you start to notice it. And it's like, it's kind of like only for real fans. It's only for like the realest fans that get it. So if you get it, congrats. Okay, this is cool too. An edit of every first frame of Danny from all videos from the last three years. Lots of me saying, what's up, Greg? I wish they played the audio from them all too. So you could just hear like, what, 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 what? Wow. I do start every video in the same position. I guess I sort of do that intentionally. Weird to see like my face and hair change over time too. This is what I look like now. And this is what I look like three years ago. All right. 
My hair got different. Bro, what the fuck? Found this at a local antique store today. Dude, what the hell? There's no way this is a coincidence. This is so weird. Did you buy it? Was only 50 cents, of course. I would have paid whatever for it to come home with me, though. Don't get me wrong. Okay, wait. When was this? When did this person buy this at the antique store? And when did the other person find it on a trash can? Is this the same person? 15 days ago. And they found it at the antique store 15 days ago. I'm gonna say it's not the same sticker because that one looked way too dirty to have been there for less than a day. But that that's insane. Wow, that's really antique. It's just like the one my great 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 grandfather used to have. Okay, dude, how many of these stickers are there? I didn't know that they were that old. Okay, there's a lot of me spanking me on the subreddit today. I didn't know that that was such a monumental part of my brand. I guess I should do this more in videos? I don't know. My boy Danny made it. Okay, I'm in another video? Wava Juice, a guide to losing your entire audience by Sunny V2. Oh, I'm in a Sunny V2 video? Gotta say, not the biggest Sunny V2 fan. Yeah, Sunny V2 has said some very gross things about Mr. Beast's friend Chris. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. And by kind of, I mean, I agree. Okay, so it's just a clip about how Guava Juice lost his entire audience and uh, looks like I am maybe to blame. I don't think that's really true. All right, let's see what's hot right now on the subreddit. What do we got going on right now? Okay, this motherfucker's still removing my facial features. Okay, that's... Uh... Thank you. Thank you for that. Oh no. This is the one thing besides is Greg the fastest growing army that you're not supposed to Google. Shit. I thought I could distract everybody with the whole Greg thing so people wouldn't even be focused on Googling this. Oh no. I like how it says that there's 200 million results, but it's not gonna show you them. It's just gonna tell you. Look, I could show you all the results, but I know what you wanna know and he's not real, okay? You don't need to go to any websites. You don't need to take anyone's word for it besides me. He's not real. I'm Liking Danny's new look. That's weird, dude. I actually wasn't sure if this was like me with uh, like a filter on it at first. I'm still not sure, actually. Is this an edited picture of me? I don't like this, man. <laughs> I don't like that at all. This scares me deeply. Yeah, me too. Added to the uh, the list of counterfeit Danny things going on today. I feel like I've taken a selfie from this exact, like, like exactly looking like this before, but the background wasn't like, I don't recognize this background at all. So that makes me think it's not me. Whoever posted this picture, is this me? Can you please clear it up? Me watching Danny's new video as if I don't have slash believe in psychic abilities. Okay, that's kind of, uh, that's pretty surprising. I guess that's a compliment that they still watched the entire video, even though I was pretty clear that I'm, I don't believe in them and that that belief only was strengthened by the video. But hey, I'm glad that you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Glad you watched it. Ghostly Orchid. Post some videos that you do and some sick telekinesis in the subreddit. If you really are psychic, I would like to see it. Maybe you could change my mind. Post it in here. That's not an open invitation to everyone, by by the way, that's only an invitation to this one person. I don't want to see everybody posting psychic shit in here. Just that one. All right, well, I would say that's enough uh, for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for posting in the subreddit. If you've got some funny, interesting, inspirational stuff, please put it in the subreddit. And I'll be back again with another video very soon. Bye.